hi students if you want to master the subjects especially mathematics you have to practice similar types of problems okay so the similar problems are given in the link given in the description you can click the link you can get the pdf downloaded and you start practicing now if you have not subscribed our channel you subscribe it and share with your friends i'll just read the third one it is given that a coach buys seven balls and sorry seven bags and six balls for rupees 3800 again later you know she buys three bags and five balls for rupees 1750 you have to find the cost of one bat and one ball okay you have to find out so let us assume that the cost of one bat cost of one bat let it be rupees x x is the cost of one bat and the cost of one ball let it be rupees y so we assume that the cost of one bat is rupees x and the cost of one ball is rupees y. Now let us read the question. It is given that seven bat and six balls together cost rupees 3800. So how can you write in an equation form? It is given that seven bat cost of one bat is rupees x. So the cost of seven bat will be seven x. Cost of one ball is rupees y. Then what will be the cost of six balls? That will be 6y. It is given that the coach paid rupees 3800 for 7 bat and 6 balls. So I think it is clear. 6, 7x plus 6y is equal to 3800. This is equation number 1. Now how can you form the second equation? The coach later buys 3 bats. So what will be the cost of 3 bat? 1 bat cost rupees x. So 3 bat cost. 3x and 5 balls what will be the cost of 5 balls 5y is equal to 1750 this is the second equation now you have to use the substitution method to find the value of x and y okay now from the first equation you can find out what is 7x tell me what is 7x from the first equation 7x is equal to 3800 minus 6y am i right yes from here you can find out what is x what is x x is equal to 3800 minus 6y by 7 let it be equation number 3 now let us substitute the value of x in equation number 1 this value of x we got from equation number 1 and the value of x we substitute in equation number 2 now the equation number 2 becomes 3 into x instead of x what you should write 3800 minus 6y by 7 so 3x equation number 2 becomes 3x plus 5y equals 1750 now let us solve it let us take 7 you know as lcm so what will be getting numerator becomes you know 3 into 3800 oh that is 0 0 8 3 is are 24 3 3 is are 9 plus 2 that is 11 minus 6 into 3 that is minus 18y plus we have taken the LCM here so it becomes 7 into 5y that is 35y equals 1750 I think it is clear so we have done we have just multiplied 3 with 3800 3 with minus 6y then by 7 is there so we have taken LCM as 7 so you should multiply 7 with 5y 35 by all divided by 7 okay is equal to 1750 the next step it becomes 11400 what is minus 18y plus 35y that is 35 minus 18 that becomes you know 17y isn't it equals now 7 into 1750 what is answer 7 into 0 that is 0 7 5s are 35 7 7s are 49 plus 3 52 remainder 2 7 1s are 7 plus 5 
that is 12. So from here you can find out what is 17y. 17y is equal to 12,250 minus 11,400. Let us write here, okay? 11,400. Then what you will be getting? You will be getting 0, 5, 8, 4, sir. Uh, 8 plus 4, 12. It becomes 0. Now, from here, you can find out what is the value of y. What is y from here? y is equal to 850 divided by 17. That is equals, you know, 17 into 5 gives you 85. Isn't it? Now, well, the value of y is 50. Now, you got the value of y as 50. What is, the, what is the value of y? What is y? y is the cost of one ball. The cost of one ball is rupees 50. Now, let us substitute the value of y in equation number 3 to get the value of x. Then, what is x? x is equal to 3800 minus 6y. What is y? y is 50. So, what will be 6y? 6 into 50 divided by 7 that equals 3800 minus what is 6 into 50 6 5 are 30 so it will become 300 by 7 now when you subtract you will be getting 0 0 8 minus 3 that is 5 3 3500 by 7 you can divide 35 by 7 it will become 5 times so it becomes 500 is the value of x so what is the value of x what is x x is the cost of one bat so we got the cost of one bat as rupees 500 and the cost of one ball as rupees 50 i think it is clear so the given uh, condition uh, from the given two conditions we form two linear equations and by substituting the method substitution method we got the value of x and y so the cost of one bat is rupees 500 and the cost of one ball is rupees 50 i think it is clear let us move to the other one let us solve the fourth one let us read the question the question it is given that the taxi charge in a city consists of a fixed charge it has a fixed charge and for the distance covered you have to pay another amount is it clear so if you hire a taxi whether you travel one kilometer two kilometer hundred kilometer whatever may be there will be a fixed charge and in addition to that for the distance you travel you have to pay another amount clear so per kilometer there is another charge and there is also a fixed charge. So, the, in this question, you know, there are two charges. What is the first charge? The first charge is called the fixed charge. Okay. So, we assume, assume that fixed charge is equal to rupees x. And there is a charge per kilometer. Okay. There is a charge per kilometer for distance you travel. So, that is, let it be rupees y. So, fixed charge is x and for the distance you travel per kilometer you have to pay rupees y now it is given that if you travel a distance of 10 kilometer you have to pay rupees 105 so if you travel a distance of 10 kilometer what is the amount you have to pay the amount you have to pay is rupees 105 so this 105 consists of two charges the first one is the fixed charge x yes, that you have to pay and per kilometer you have to pay y rupees. How many kilometers you travel here? Here you travel 10 kilometers. So how much you have to pay for the 10 kilometer? For the 10 kilometer you have to pay rupees 10y. I think it is clear. If you travel 10 kilometer you have to pay 105 rupees. This 105 rupees consists of a fixed charge x. Yes, and charge per kilometer that is y here you travel 10 kilometers so you have to pay 10 y and the fixed charge x together gives you together you have to give 105 rupees i think it is clear it will be equation number one now the second condition if you travel 15 kilometer you have to pay 155 rupees so 
155 rupees you have to pay if you travel 15 km. That 155 includes the fixed charge plus 15y. Is it clear? x plus 15y is equal to 155. This is equation number 2. You have to find x and y. You formed two linear equations here. From the first equation, let us follow. We follow the same steps throughout the problems, isn't it? So let us find from the first equation what is x. What is x? Tell me. x is equal to 105 minus 10y. Let it be equation number 3. This value you should substitute in equation number 2. What is equation number 2? x plus 15y is equal to 155. Instead of x, what you have to write? Instead of this x, you have to write this x. That is 105 minus 10y plus 15y equals 155. So, it becomes 105. What is 15y minus 10y? That is 5y equals 155. What is 5y? 5y is equal to 155 minus 105. That is 5y equals 155 minus 105. It becomes 50, isn't it? 50 plus 5, 50. Okay. Now, what is y? y equals 50 by 5 that is 10. So what is rupees 10? Y is 10 means the charge per kilometer. Charge per kilometer is rupees 10. Now let us substitute the value of y in equation number 3 to get the value of x. Equation number 3 gives x is equal to 105 minus 10y. 10 into y. What is y? y is 10. So it becomes 105 minus 100 that is rupees 5. So what is the fixed charge? The fixed charge is 5 and charge per kilometer is rupees 10. Now let us uh, check whether these are right. Okay. So what is the fixed charge? Fixed charge is rupees 5. Now it is given that fixed charge plus charge for 10 kilometer gives 105 rupees. What is fixed charge? Rupees 5. So it becomes equation number 5. Let us check it. Okay. Now what is equation number 1? What is fixed charge? X. X is 5. 10Y. What is Y? Y is 10. So 10Y. 10 into 10. That is 100 is equal to 105. See both are equal. Second equation. Let us try. X plus 15Y. X is 5. 15 y 15 into y that is 15 into 10 that is 150 that will give you what 155 so that's right so what is the fixed charge fixed charge is rupees 5 and additional charge per kilometer is rupees 10 this is very important for your board exam okay so uh, uh, this not the same problem but similar problem will be there you can expect for the exam. Okay. Let us solve the other one. Let us read the fifth one. It is given that a fraction becomes 9 by 11 if you add 2 to both numerator and denominator and the same fraction becomes 5 by 6 if you add 3 to numerator and denominator. You have to find the fraction. So we assume that let the fraction be you know x by y. So we assume that the fraction is x by y. Now what is the first condition? Case 1. It is given that first case. It is given that if you add 2 with numerator and denominator. So you add 2 with numerator you add 2 with denominator. So if you add 2 with both numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 9 by 11. Okay. So x plus 2 by y plus 2 is equal to 9 by 11. The fraction is x by y. Here you add 2 with the numerator, you add 2 with denominator, the fraction becomes 9 by 11. Now let us just cross multiply and form a linear equation. Okay. When you cross multiply 11 into x, 11x, 11 into 2, 2x, 
22 equals 9 into y 9 y 2 into 9 18 let us bring 9 y to this side then it becomes 11 x minus 9 y equals 18 minus 22 that is minus 4 this is equation number 1 now let us form the second equation it is given that if you add 3 with numerator and denominator so you add 3 with x and y numerator and denominator then the fraction becomes 5 by 6 this is case 2 clear so we have seen what is case 1 and what is case 2 now let us cross multiply this you will be getting 6 into x 6x 6 into 3 18 equals 5 into y 5y 5, 5 into 3 15 let us take y to this side then it becomes 6x minus 5y equals 15 minus 18 that is minus 3 that is equation number 2 clear now what is the next step from the first equation let us find what is x so one equation number one from equation number one let us find what is x that is 11x is equal to it will become 9y let us take to the other side it will becomes plus 9y minus 4 then what is x x equals 9y minus 4 by 11 that is the value of x now substitute the value of x in equation number 2 let us see what you will be getting equation number 2 becomes 6 into what is x 9y minus 4 by 11 minus 5y equals minus 3 let us take the lcm here 11 before that let us multiply 6 into 9 that is 54 y 6 into minus 4 minus 24 let us take the lcm as you know 11 then it becomes 11 into 5 55 y equals minus 3 what is 54 y minus 55 y you will be getting minus y okay minus 24 equals 11 into minus 3 that is minus 33 that is minus y equals minus 33 let us take minus 24 to the other side it will become plus 24 that is minus y equals what is minus 33 plus 24 that is minus 9 that is y equals 9 so you get the value of y as 9 now substitute the value of y in equation number 3 then you will be getting the value of x what is the value of x x equals 9y 9 into y y is 9 so 9 into 9 that is 81 minus 4 by 11 what is 81 minus 4 77 by 11 that is 7 so what is the value of x so you get the value of x as 7 then what is the fraction the fraction becomes x by y what is x x is 7 and what is y y is 9 so the fraction becomes 7 by 9 so what you have done here we have taken the fraction as x by y the first condition case 1 if you add 2 with numerator and denominator it becomes 9 by 11 so you add plus 2 you get 9 by 11 if you add 3 with numerator and denominator you will be getting 5 by 6 just add then solve it you will be getting two linear equations in two variable from the first one you find the value of x substitute in the second equation you will be getting the value of y so the fraction is 7 by 9 okay let us solve the other one let us read the sixth one the last problem okay so it is given that after five years age of jacob will be three times that of his son and before five years jacob's age was seven times that of his son you have to find their present ages so here we assume that present age of jacob be x years okay his age is x years and the present age of his son let it be y years so these are the present age of jacob and his son jacob's present age is x years and son's present age is y years now 
Let's see what is the first case, case 1. Let's see what is case 1. It is given that after 5 years, Jacob's age will be 3 times that of his son. So the present age of Jacob is x year, present age of son will be y year. Then what will be their ages after 5 years? If Jacob's age is 50 years now, after 5 years what will be his age? 50 plus 5, 55. Your age is 15 now or 16. What will be your age after 5 years? It will be 20 or 21. So similarly, after 5 years, let us find out what will be the age of Jacob. The present age is x. So after 5 years, his age will be x plus 5. What will be the age of his son after 5 years? His present age is y. So after 5 years, his age will be y plus 5. But according to the question, it is given that after 5 years, Jacob's age will be that is x plus 5 that is Jacob's age after 5 years. It is given that after 5 years, Jacob's age will be 3 times that of his son that is 3 into y plus 5. It is clear I think. After 5 years, Jacob's age will be equal to 3 times that of his son's age. Uh, usually students just write y here. Okay. So after 5 years, both of their ages will be changed. So after 5 years, you know, Jacob's age will be x plus y, son's age will be y plus 5. If it is given that after 3 years, what will you do? You should write plus 3 with both ages. Okay. Now let us solve it. Now you will be getting x plus 5 is equal to 3 into y, 3y. 3 into 5, 15, that becomes x minus 3y equals 15 minus 5, that is 10, that is the equation number 1 you get. Now let us see what is the case 2. It is also given that 5 years ago, Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. So can you tell me, 5 years ago, what was Jacob's age? That is 5 years ago, what was Jacob's age? What is Jacob's present age? What is your present age? What was your age 5 years ago? What will you do? Just subtract 5. So Jacob's present age is 6 years. So what will be, what was his age before 5 years? It, his age was x minus 5. Similarly, what was the age of his son before 5 years? The present age is y years. So before 5 years, his age was y minus 5. According to the question, it is given. 5 years ago, Jacob, a, Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. Is it clear? His Jacob's age 5 years ago was equal to 7 times that of his son's age that is 7 into y minus 5 let us solve it x minus 5 equals 7y minus 35 next step take y to this side it becomes x minus 7y equals minus 35 plus 30 it becomes sorry minus 35 plus 5 it becomes minus 30 that is equation number 2 so you get two equations equation number 1 and equation number 2 now what is the next step from the first equation let us find from the first equation let us find what is x what is x from the first equation x is equal to 10 plus 3y okay now let us substitute this value in equation number 2 now equation number 2 becomes x minus 7y what is x 10 plus 3y minus 7y equals minus 30 is it clear from the first equation or from the second equation you have to find the value of x or y and you have to substitute in the other equation okay so what you have done here so we find the value of x from the first equation and we substitute that value in the second equation that's all okay let us see that it becomes 10 what is 3y minus 7y minus 4y equals minus 30 what is minus 4y minus 4y becomes minus 30 minus 10 that is minus 40 the value of y equals 40 by 
4 that is 10. So the value of y is 10. What is y? Age of sun. Age of sun is 10 years. Now let us substitute the value of y in you know equation number 3. Let it be equation number 3. Let us substitute in equation number 3. Actually equation number 3 comes from equation number 1. Okay you can substitute the value of y you know in equation number 1 or equation number 2 you will be getting the answer. Now to find the value of x we found from the equation number 1 what is x. So it will be easy to find the value of y if you substitute in this equation. Okay that's why you substitute the value of y in the third equation you will be getting the value of x as x is equal to 10 plus 3y 3 into 10 that is 30 then what is the value of x x is equal to 40 what is x age of father age of father is 40 years i think it is clear okay so we found what are the ages of present age of jacob and his son present age of jacob is 40 years and the present age of his son is you know 10 years you see what is the first condition after 5 years, let us see whether it is the first equation holds true for these two values. What is x? x is 40 minus 3y. 3y is 10. So 3y is 3 into 10, 30. What is 40 minus 30? 10. So it is true. Now let us solve whether it is true for the second equation. What is x? x is 40. What is 7y? 7 into 10, that is 70. What is 40 minus 70? That is minus 30. So it is true. Okay. So the present age of Jacob is 40 years and his son is 10 years. I think it is clear. So we have done all the problems related with the substitution method from the NCRT textbook. Okay. We have completed the exercise, you know, 3.3 uh, from the, uh, the textbook. Now it is your turn, you know, to practice these problems. You have to practice these problems to score high marks in your examination so for that you know you can click the link given in the description you get you can get the pdf and you just start practicing the problems i will be coming soon with the next topic thank you if you have not yet subscribed our channel you can subscribe it and you can share with your friends our further videos will be based on the new code structure issued by the board for your board examination. Thank you.